big UFC fighter here. We're going to be style breaking down Conor McGregor. You guys all know him. At the same time, he has a phenomenal style, very loud, outspoken, and in his presence of style, it's really in your face. So we're going to be style breaking down three characteristic points from his style, and I'm going to give you guys that piece of advice so you guys can upgrade your style to the next level. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. If this is your first time here on this channel, make sure to do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel down below, hit a thumbs up on this video so more people see it and the channel grows. At the same time, let's get right into this. So Conor McGregor, let's break down three characteristic points about him. So first thing, we're looking to polos and sweatshirts at the same time. So we're gonna look at this outfit right here. So he's wearing a red polo. You know, this is a nice tailored polo at the same time. It's very elegant the way it's put together. This is great if you're looking for something on the go, more of a business casual type of look. This is something I do recommend just to stand against the norm of what a business attire would look like. So just applying a polo into your outfit, you actually do yourself a huge favor and you kind of up your game here. So polo is a great thing to wear, semi-casual events. So here's another example of him wearing the polo. Um, so this is a green, Irish green, let's just call it Irish green polo. And then he has a white pants and you got the Hermes belt and then he got some loafers as well the way he postures himself wearing his polo you know it's here for a professional setting and honestly guys get yourself into more polos if you guys don't have polos get yourself into more polos because this is something that I do recommend you guys to all have for me personally I believe that like long sleeve sweatshirts are highly underrated and I think a lot of people should actually get into it start wearing it more and the way you can actually wear it is in the same setting as a polo semi-casual at the same time, this is something you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So it can be more of a street casual look or just when you go out and about. So as you see right here, he's wearing the Vanchi sweater and he has a nice watch on it, casual jeans, some shoes, and just wearing something like this, very simple. We look very elegant and put together, especially when it comes down to the quality of the sweatshirt um, you can really tell by off the look of it and the way you wear things shows a confidence too right so keep that in mind when you invest into pieces when you invest into new garments you want to be able to invest in something of quality because you'll be wearing a different your confidence the whole psychology of wearing something um, to improve your style will enhance your look and your confidence kind of more in the formal form where you can see on a casual sweatshirt that adds a little more detailed. So around the cuffs, around the arms here, kind of indicating this is something a little bit more than your average. And this is what's great about finding things in certain environments or certain categories of clothing that you can actually apply into your own style. So if you're looking for something like this, I can recommend you guys a few websites. If you guys are looking for like high stitch, high quality, um, definitely check the links down below. When you invest in something of quality, you start wearing it different. So here's another shot of a simple sweater or you can want to call it crew neck, casual jeans and you got the Irish green sweater. So this is something I'm talking about. It can be very clean and simple. If you're a type of minimalistic person like I am, you can wear something like this on a day-to-day -day basis and you'll still look fine. You still look crisp, still look put together. At the same time, this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to wearing something just like this. One key trick for me personally, when it comes down to sweaters, I like to get something that's a little more slim fit. So I always look in the slim fit section of sweaters or I look in the detail of it. If it has been like tailor made or for example, you kind of just have to go for the slim overall look but most of the times you really have to try it on first or you actually have to just go up in size because sometimes it just comes off a little bit tight one of the key tricks when it comes on sweaters is make sure you don't have a lot of bagginess around the torso if you guys have the sag around your stomach or around your waist a lot more kind of like the rolls or kind of how it wrinkles up you might want to go down in a size um, but yet again it could be just based on the company so next thing I want to talk to you guys about is like designer dress shirts and short sleeve dress shirts. He wears that a lot. So he has, as you guys see in this photo, he's wearing a Louis Vuitton one, open chest, definitely in the summertime here. And this is the type of vibe I'm talking about where you can wear something so simple that has crazy designs, but at the same time, it looks stylish, looks on point at the same time it just looks fire he's actually wearing like a beige pair of camel pants so it's a good complementary to what he's wearing with the white Louis Vuitton shirt so this is a pure example of that here's another one for you guys this is something that he was wearing at a press conference 
Um, so yeah, splash of blue. You can see how the designs come down the collar, down to the buttons, down to the sleeves actually too. So this is very like, you know, Italian type of look. This is very in your face, a French type of designer look. And this is something that should be implied into anyone's style, especially in North America. A lot of people don't wear things like this, but it's great to apply it into your own style because I think it's just something that's missing. At the same time, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty out there. So here's another one, but it's a little more subtle, but it's still loud. It's a nice red one, a nice pattern, it's a nice design, but uh, this is actually pretty fire in how it looks. He's matching a pair of glasses and it kind of complements his beard at the same time in the cheetah print glasses first and foremost. But yeah, this is actually a pretty good look overall. And this is something I'm talking about of wearing designer shirts or pattern shirts. So this is great for like club environments or lounge environments or like indoors. So any type of setting, you can't go wrong with these shirts to be honest with you. So it all matters to how you put this together. So when you wear something like this, you wanna wear it with like khaki pants or like chinos or like, you know, um, denim shorts or whatever. If it's loud up top, then I will just keep it with a base color at the bottom. So suits are a great indication of a business setting or professionalism. So I highly suggest you guys to get into suits if that is your thing or start adapting your lifestyle around suits. I think once you start getting your first suit and then you start wearing it out for like a weekend or in, maybe go into like two to three more days, you start realizing the difference and you start seeing the respect level that people give you in society. So it's quite interesting to see that off of a suit, how much level of respect you do get. So this is a part of the key and this is a part of his personality of why he wears the suits. He demands attention, he demands respect. Right, so in the fighting world of mixed martial arts, UFC, so he wears suits at press conferences, he wears them at weigh-ins, he wears them at you know um, meet and greets as well. So this is what he just typically does and this is a great indicator of demanding a certain respect. Right here, he has different styles of suits. This is a nice plaid blue suit. You know how it looks. You already know his style, very loud out there. So he doesn't like to keep it subtle. He likes to be bold in your face. I am here. So, and that's what he likes to sport. So that's what he did. This was actually the fight with Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor in Toronto. So he was wearing this nice blue suit. First thing for me, within any setting of professionalism, I do believe that you should wear a suit, or even something that's like a casual suit, just so you know and the clients know that you are serious about what you're doing here. And this is what he did when it came down to the press conference in Toronto. So this photo right here, I believe he's in Ireland and behind him is his company Proper 12 Whiskey. So he's just sporting his whiskey with his nice suit. He has a nice purple pocket square pinstripe suit, light blue t-shirt underneath very casual, very open and relaxed type of look. And um, this is a really great look for someone who wants to be in a like professional setting, maybe after hours type of look. This is something I do recommend. Just take off the tie, open the collar, relax, have a drink. So you can start seeing similarities with his style. He always has a pocket square. He always has a tie. He's always in a professional setting. So this gentleman, he demands what he demands because of the way he dresses is half of it. Not only that is talent, but the way he dresses. There's a few keys to dressing well. It's about having consistency and at the same time developing your own style. And that's what Conor McGregor does very, very well. So from polos to sweaters to business casual suits or formal suits, this is what he masters really well. And he stays in his range of what he likes and that's where he kind of excels in. So it's kind of more based on like finding your own style, finding what develops you as a person and then go all in on that. One last characteristic I'll talk about with Conor McGregor is that he likes his mink coats. He has a nice white mink coat and then he got some flashy red pants as well. And that's what I'm talking about where you guys want to have something in your wardrobe that's kind of out there than the rest. So that's what he does with his mink coats and his pants. So this is the one look right here. And the second look, he has the black mink coat, a little more professional, a little more boss mafia type of look as well. And then he has the Irish flag over top of it. And then he has an Irish green suit. So this right here, you can see he's demanding the utmost out of everybody and he demands the same respect level. So this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to having that piece that really stands out than anything you guys do have. So here's another photo where I'm talking about where he has the mint coat at the same time 
some nice stylish pants. And you can see in these two photos, the way he's postured himself, the way he's wearing it, he's feeling confident. He knows that not many people dress like this, so he's the one and only. So it's kind of interesting when you collaborate your fashion into your personality and you kind of exude that through how you dress and your confidence level. So yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching Arcway, a new direction of modern man. My name is Tulu. If you guys don't want to see anyone else I style break down, just let me know in the comment section down below. Click the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up so the channel grows. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.